unstuck your stuck feelings well it's all about ups and downs of life there are times we accelerate there are times we just break there are times we feel that we can't just move anywhere nothing seems to be moving in life not even relationships not even career nothing seems to be doing well for you this is the stuck feeling you want to do a lot you've got plans in place you've got lots of dreams ideas and visions and you're waiting for things to be favorable and yet you seem to be hitting the dead end every time you try and move forward eventually being where you are you're not the only one i have been through that phase several times in my life and i bounced back and hence today i'm inspired to share this with you so many people come to me with the whole sucking life that's what they say the life seems to be stuck and what they say is life sucks of course we guys are champions at blaming people circumstances all sorts of problems and even stars for the stuck feeling the commonest reason they blame it on is black magic yes they feel that somebody has done something wrong some voodoo stuff and that's why the life is stuck when we start working we often come across a lot of such blame games which is okay which is fine i'm not saying that the circumstances don't exist the energy interplay does not exist all this is fine however don't you think your thoughts are more powerful than any other energies in the world explore the power of your thoughts figure out why you are stuck and once you understand that you will set the ball rolling here are some of the examples of being stuck a lady had come to me saying that her marriage is stuck she neither loved her husband nor she could do anything about her marriage she was helplessly stuck in her marriage not only just helplessly but hopelessly because she couldn't see a way forward she couldn't even imagine her marriage life getting better anymore her husband was in love with someone else and she had nowhere to go she wanted to separate she wanted to take a divorce but there weren't enough finances that can support her or help her gain financial security she was living with a man she did not love and the man did not love her either they were like two strangers in a house feeling stuck a senior citizen felt stuck with his children he realized that he is not needed anymore however he had no way to go he expected children to spend some time grandchildren to play with him however everybody were busy in their lives at times some of their behavior and comments felt derogatory and he missed out on the kind of dignity he would expect from his family however he did not know what to do he felt stuck the only option left was to go to an old age home and he was not sure if he would feel comfortable there at a man at 30 felt stagnated because his salary had not increased since last 5 years and the inflation rate was going on expenses were increasing he couldn't change a job he did not get the right offer and he did not know how to demand promotion in the same organization feeling again 
helpless, stuck and hopeless. These are not the only people. I'm sure there are plenty of such people who would like to move on, move forward, progress, do better, go places, invite exciting new opportunities and yet they feel that there's nowhere to go. The commonest factor in all these cases was waiting for the right moment. They were hoping that somebody will do something, something will shift, some opportunity will come. The lady luck would favor them. Their stars could change, people could change. And if they continue waiting, probably they would feel stuck for a very, very long time. You may wonder what could they do? All that they need to do is address their personal blocks. So what are those personal blocks? Number one, tendency to blame others and not take charge. You being highly unfair to yourself if you blame others Because when you blame others, you're actually telling yourself that you're suffering, you're stuck because of others. And you're empowering others or circumstances to make you feel stuck. Second, insecurity. Not sure what would happen if you move. Waiting for certainties. Waiting for the right opportunities. Waiting for everything to look secure and sure before you could move. Not taking a leap of faith, not taking a jump. If you can, overcome your insecurity and have faith in your good fortune. You will eventually move on and move forward after a brief phase of unrest, uncertainty, you will figure your way out and invite new opportunities and new circumstances in your life. Third is fear of unknown. Again, when you don't know what's lined up for you, you don't want to let go of what is known and familiar. Fourth is attachment. Attachment to your loved ones. Attachment to your past memories, attachment to people around you or the familiar and known circumstances. Your attachment invariably binds you and does not let you move on and move forward. Of course, every individual is different and their reasons are different. I'm just talking about a few of the common reasons and You may have your own individual unique reason. Here are some of the tips for you to motivate yourself to move on and move forward and not get stagnated. The first tip is motivate yourself. There has to be an inner inspiration or sub-motivation for you to move on and move forward. If there's nothing to look forward to, you may as well remain where you are. Find out a reason for you to move on and move forward. What excites you? What interests you? And what motivates you? Ask these questions. And when you find an answer satisfactory enough, you will motivate yourself and figure your ways out. Second is stop waiting for others to do something. Stop waiting for circumstances to change. Probably nothing will change unless you change. When you change, everything around you will change. But if you wait for others to change, you may not be able to change at all. Why would you do that? Third, have faith. Address your self-doubt. 
end. Rely on your internal strength to be able to face eventualities, uncertainties. Trust your inner self. Trust your inner strength. Trust your wisdom to be able to figure out the way even if the future is unknown. Do guided imagery. Familiarize your subconscious mind with future possibilities. Subconscious mind often resists anything that is unknown. So, if the future is unknown, the subconscious mind may tend to resist any movement forward. Under such circumstances, it would be a good idea to use guided imagery. Use positive affirmations. Now, not just any positive affirmation. Try and design specific positive affirmation which are based on multi-chakra guidance. Radical can help you in designing the right affirmations. Recognize your personal block. There can be personal individual block which are not letting you move on and move forward. And the last thing is detachment. It may be easier said than done. Get attached to your current scenario, relationship and circumstances. It's your attachment which does not let you move on and move forward. Learn to get detached and not indifferent because there's a difference between indifference and detachment. When you're indifferent, you just do not care. When you're detached, you may care. You may do the needful and yet do not stop yourself from moving on and moving forward. Finally, enhance your self-worth and self-esteem. Know that you deserve better. You are meant to do much more in life than what you're doing. Be optimistic. Look forward to a better future. And have faith that yes, you deserve and you are entitled to a better future. I'm going to tell you a few inspirational stories and you'll be amazed how people have cracked their inner shell and made the best out of their lives. A lady was assisting her husband in her business. She was dedicated and she's helped a lot in boosting her husband's business. However, she almost always felt inferior, taken for granted and not appreciated for what she was doing. She was also managing her house as well as professional life and yet she hardly had her own independence and say in the matter. She gradually became unhappy and started remaining depressed after radical. She chose to take a chance and told her husband that she would like to have her own independent setup. Of course, it was not so well appreciated because now husband realized that he has to go on his own and do without the trusted support from his wife. He laid down several terms and conditions and said, you can't step out of the house, you can't do this, you can't do that. She agreed to all those terms and conditions and yet creatively found an online career sitting at home, which gave her tremendous fulfillment and also a lot of independence. A gentleman was stuck in his career because he did not have enough courage to speak to his boss for promotion. The boss knew about it and would never proactively give him a raise. He was being taken for granted because the boss knew that he's not going to leave the organization so easily. One fine day, he chose to take a risk, take a chance. And he spoke to his boss 
it took a lot of time and a lot of radical recitation to gather that kind of courage to speak to his boss without any fear and to his amazement the boss saw a spark of courage and he did not want to lose his employee and hence he gave him a good promotion which eventually motivated this gentleman further to put in best in the subsequent years he started getting yearly promotion that he deserved the old man who was unhappy with his family eventually found a good shelter home for old age people children were embarrassed they resisted they fought but the old man after radical recitation understood that it's his attachment to children and grandchildren which is not letting him move on and move forward the old man settled with a small little compromise and said he would spend 20 days in the old age home and 10 days with the family and eventually he found a good old age home in the old age home he was surprised to find so many friends of his age the whole day was busy with activities and his health improved his mood improved and his life improved in general gradually he reduced going home and everyone settled for the best there was no hurt there was no disrespect there was no compromise dignity progress and growth is the norm of life truly no one stagnates even if you don't want there is going to be some growth you stagnate when your mind stagnates when your thoughts stagnate and when your emotions stagnate you are meant to progress all the time if you find a roadblock use this block as a stepping stone so that you move on and move forward you also raise your consciousness and awareness to have a better overview of life rely on inner inspiration and do not wait for others to motivate you to facilitate you and to promote you so that you feel fully functional and progressive in life rely on your inner strength when you will be inspired when you will be motivated when you will have your courage when you will have your conviction people around you will certainly reciprocate and facilitate you till then keep reciting here are some of the radical statements which can help you unblock your blocks and create movement in your stagnated life of course you can design the right radical statements based on chakra intelligence and deep awareness of the subconscious mind powerful statements and catalyst words have powerful effect on your subconscious mind let's begin with radical recitation i'm going to use three words transform transcend and soul's love your energies cannot be destroyed they can only be transformed you can transcend rise beyond raise your consciousness and have a better overview of life the problems that you create at the level of consciousness cannot be solved at the same level of consciousness that's what einstein said so raise your consciousness the word transcend helps you raise your consciousness and of course soul's love dissolves all toxic emotions and facilitates the progress forward 
you can recite with me or after me with soul's love i transform and transcend my stuck feeling with soul's love i transform and transcend my stuck feeling with soul's love i transform and transcend my stuck feeling with soul's love i transform and transcend my need to move on and move forward with soul's love i transform and transcend my need to move on and move forward with soul's love i transform and transcend my need to move on and move forward with soul's love i transform and transcend my attachment with soul's love i transform and transcend my attachment with soul's love i transform and transcend my attachment with soul's love i transform and transcend my attachment to the known and familiar with soul's love i transform and transcend my attachment to the known and familiar with soul's love i transform and transcend my attachment to the known and familiar with soul's love i transform and transcend my fear of the unknown with soul's love i transform and transcend my fear of the unknown with soul's love i transform and transcend my fear of the unknown with soul's love i transform and transcend my self doubt with soul's love i transform and transcend my self doubt with soul's love i transform and transcend my self doubt With soul's love I transform and transcend my need for self assurance. With soul's love I transform and transcend my need for self assurance. With soul's love I transform and transcend my need for self assurance. With soul's love I transform and transcend my resistance to change. With soul's love I transform and transcend my resistance to change. With soul's love I transform and transcend my resistance to change. With soul's love I transform and transcend my need for inner inspiration. With soul's love I transform and transcend my need for inner inspiration. With soul's love I transform and transcend my need for inner inspiration. With soul's love I transform and transcend my need to move on and move forward. With soul's love I transform and transcend my need to move on and move forward. With soul's love I transform and transcend my need to move on and move forward. With soul's love I transform and transcend my need for faith. With soul's love I transform and transcend my need for faith. With soul's love I transform and transcend my need for faith. With soul's love I transform and transcend my life. With soul's love I transform and transcend my life. With soul's love I transform and transcend my life. With soul's love I transform and transcend myself with soul's love i transform and transcend myself with soul's love i transform and transcend myself
keep reciting and stay tuned